Oh my God, I Happy love you. New Year. I'm going to say that. Happy New Year. But I have to say this is so funny because one of the times we were here, I, my mom, I hadn't seen the show that you were on and it was so funny because you had mentioned that somebody at American Idol had said that you could, they thought you were my mom. Right. My mom, during Christmas break, before New Year's, literally was sitting there, she was like, hey, I saw something with Valerie Bertinelli the other day. She was like, I feel like she could be your mom, which I think is weird for your mom to say. Yes. Like my mom said it, but she was like, I feel like y'all look so similar. And I was like, that's so crazy. I was like, we've had this conversation before. I think I anyway. walked by your mother after you won and she was sobbing as well. Oh, sobbing. Yeah. She was probably yeah. like, finally, we'll be able to pay bills. <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were broke. <laughs> Teachers don't make enough money. No, um, they don't. They do not. Um, and wait, one of the times that we saw each other, we were at a lunch and you were talking about your son and how He's a musician. Mm -hmm. You were so proud of him. Mm -hmm. And because there's big footsteps, yes. you know, with his father, uh, yes. Eddie. So it's amazing he's nominated for a Grammy. <laughs> it's so fun! <laughs> it's Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. It's uh, I couldn't be more happy. I'm so much more happy for his success than I ever, ever could be for mine. Yeah. Uh, it's I'm That's over a the mom. moon. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. How did you get the news that he'd been nominated? Uh, well, I, I didn't realize the nominations were happening and um, it, it was online and I went, oh my God, I want to see. And I happened to, um, as soon as I saw Billie Eilish and she was announcing yeah. the, the rock group. And um, when they got to the best song, I, was, I screamed in the middle of my bathroom all by myself. Yeah. Uh, it scared my animals. They all came running out of the room. But I mean, the first person I wanted to call after Wolfie was Ed, because Ed yeah. was beyond the moon, proud of Wolfie. He, uh, the only thing in this world that ever made Wolfie happy, that ever made Ed happy, uh, they're the same person, yeah. was Wolfie. Aww. Ed, Ed just got so much joy out of watching Wolfie play music and, and mm -hmm. be creative and so I, it, it's, mm, I wish he was here. Well, and also, cause it's one of those things when it's something you love and you see, even when I see my daughter at like a, a school performance, I'm like, I'm not the mom that's like, move your, make your smile, honey. I'm not yeah. that mom, but I do get excited because mm -hmm. I'm like, it's something that we share. Yeah. So that's cool. It yeah. Is. I'm so happy for him. Please tell him congratulations. Thank you. I that's will. so freaking cool. I will. Thank Especially you. Especially songwriting. That's so cool. Uh, yeah, so, you know how hard it is to write a song. It is. Well, and it's also, it's a hard category. There's so many amazing songs that are released in a year. And like, how do you pick the few that are going to be in that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's a hard thing. So uh, congratulations. But um, okay, so also there's some sad news. I know that you were really close with Betty, mm -hmm. and I, I know that you, you worked with her mm -hmm. and um, hot in Cleveland. And so, do you remember? Like, do you remember the first time you met her? The first time I met her was at the the reading, the very first script reading. Wow. For hot in Cleveland, and I was in awe. And I, t when I, t you've met Betty. I actually never <gasps> met. Betty. No. I can't believe that. I never met Betty White. No. Oh my God. I know, and I'm such a huge fan. Oh. But yeah. When, well, you're, who when you're in her presence, she literally glows. I'm telling oh. you, I don't know how, but the woman is just a walking Life. glow stick. Like she's just full of gratitude and love and kindness. Yeah. And she was just. Well, and you've been in gift. the industry for so long, and then you. So y'all just met on Hot in Cleveland. Yeah, back. What Are you was that? Still um, floored? Oh my God. Uh, yes. Yeah. I mean, Betty's been amazing for you know. 99 yeah. years. <laughs> I know I was so mad because I was like, really? Just shy of 100? Yeah. That was, that was. But that's Betty. Betty's got the best timing. Ugh. Why not send 2021 out with a bang? Say, See you later. Yeah. I'm out. She's like, peace. <laughs> yeah. So I couldn't help but notice that in your new lovely book, um, it started here. Like after you it were did. here. We were right over yeah. there cooking. I know. Making a crab and cheesy Which dip. Which I don't cook well, but I love you that You made that great there. dip. Oh, yeah, because of you. <laughs> like, yeah. And then, oh, yes, there we are. Yeah. And then I, t I took the leftovers because I always, you know, have stuff at home, too, because I'm yeah. always practicing before I do it. And I took it over to Wolfie's house, and that's when Ed came by, and it all starts the whole story of this, this reconnection that Ed and I had in the last few years of his life. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, w that must have been hard. I know, because I've gone through a divorce, still going through a divorce, and it's like, it's, it feels, it's, it's a weird thing, but it feels like a death. Like it yeah. feels like such a loss, like divorce in general. And yeah. then to lose him again, that must've been really hard. Yeah, it sucks. Cause it's your, it's your kid's father too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but there was something, uh, and I know so many people get mad at me when I say that there was a love that Ed and I had that no one really can, and it's, but it's true. I mean, I don't know. Why do they get mad about that? That's uh, a beautiful thing. Because we were both married to other people, but it wasn't, it was nothing sexual. It was nothing. It was just, I've known the guy since I was 20 years old. I was a yeah. baby. And he was just 
my life for a very long time. So I'm a little uncomfortable talking about it, but I'm not because there's nothing to be ashamed of when you love somebody. Yeah. Love is love. I think there's room to love a lot of people and there Absolutely. are different types of love. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh. And it turned into like brother, sister, and I care about him so much. Still do. Still yeah. do. Why did you call the book Enough Already? And it's, it, I love that, learning to love the way I am today. Mm, because I, I'm done. I'm just done judging myself. I'm done with all the negative talk that I give to myself because there's enough negative talk out there. It's just yeah. enough already. Enough. Enough getting on the scale. Enough saying horrible things about myself. Yeah. And just changing the perspective and changing the, the view and the yeah. narrative. Thank you. And yeah. also, I am enough. I'm enough. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's so, enough. It's so interesting because from an outsider's perspective and just even having the one lunch we got to share, like it was like, I literally remember leaving and telling Ashley, I was like, man, she is such a light. She's so kind. She's so normal. You are so cool. Like rarely. I thought the same I, thing about you. Well, what's <laughs> funny is rarely do you meet people like, and I don't really like, you know, business. we're always working and busy and busy and rarely do I really find that. And, and so it's so, I had advice actually given to me for 2020. Too. Um, and it was like, treat yourself how you treat other, or no, how, yes, treat yourself how you treat others. And mm -hmm. it's like, cause I feel like we are kind to people a lot, often more than to ourselves. Yes, Which is so crappy. Right, and yeah. it's not Why okay. Do we do that? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know, I mean, it's just, I learned from a very, very, very young age by, you know, just the way you watch and the way you see the way people treat each other, that you, it's just the certain things that you're allowed to say and not allowed to say and not allowed to feel. And, and I, I, I learned at a young age that, that gaining weight was unlovable, made me unlovable. Wow. Uh, it, so I, I'm still trying to purge that out of my system because it's not, that's not true, it's just a lie. No, yeah, that's, oh my gosh, that's so sad. I think that's a thing in the South that's said a lot too. I don't know everywhere. if it's everywhere. All but over yeah, the world. It's definitely in the yeah. South. But I also, I think what I am glad about is I think so many things happened to me when I was young about my weight that I think, like even at a young age, like so many things get said that I think that's whenever I was just like, whatever, I'm not gonna please anyone. <gasps> God bless like, you. I, think I was lucky it happened because it, before I got in the industry because it was like, because it later in the industry, you're talking about your son being in the industry, it's very hard, mm -hmm. even for men. Yes. Even for men yes. to look a certain way mm -hmm. and do with certain things and it's and it's just such a silly thing and I love, I love the title Thank enough you. already because it's very um, welcoming to so many people that have the same fight within themselves that Thank they're you. trying to overcome. It's, yeah. it's hard when you learn as a little girl and then trying to get that out. So for that. you to break that at a, as a little girl yeah. is something to be really proud of. It took me a long time. I mean, I watched my mom not get loved by my dad when she would gain weight. I had oh, an, an elementary school teacher point at my belly and say, you better watch that. And I didn't even realize I had a body before that. Like I had no awareness of what I looked like. It was just like, let's have fun. And then all of a sudden oh. I was like, oh, I'm supposed to look a certain way. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, all, that's not okay. Yeah, no, you gotta be so careful with what you say in front of the little really ones, do. sponges. Yeah. And they retain everything, yeah. oh my gosh. But you were married for 25 years and, and something that I love that you just said and I wanted to bring back is I love that that shared love can change. It can be a different kind of love, you know, it can evolve. And I think that that's like gotta be an elevated emotional kind of state. Like I don't think a lot of people can, can do that and I love that you loved in a different way and I love that you've mentioned too that you still feel his presence. I do. I do, in so many different like ways. I, there's way? a couple like, things in the book that I write about, like really kind of like woo woo kind of things that I'm like, if you believe in that, great, uh, it happened to me. But I, there was something recently that just happened to me um, after I finished the book. Yeah. And I, um, I had kind of like made this pact with Ed that I would see a certain bird. Or was it two or was it three? I wasn't sure whether it was two or three birds. Um, and then I would know he was there. And so I was in the, in the uh, bathroom early in the morning. I had this big picture window and I, was, and I said, oh, there's three birds. Ed, are you here? Are you, I said, oh wait, was it two birds? And I said, oh God, was it two or three? So I don't know if it's you, Ed, if you're here or not. You know what, screw it. If you're here, just send a whole <laughs> flock of birds. And literally, I didn't no. even get the sentence out of my mouth and a whole flock of birds went going by, it must have been 20, 30 birds, these that's little tiny cool. birds, and you know they do those waves, you yeah. see them on, yeah. that's what happened, went by, never saw the birds again. I'm like, oh, okay, so I got cool. goosebumps. It's like, oh, Ed, okay, cool, you're here. And here's the thing too, who cares if people believe or don't believe, you believe and it happened and it you, made me you happy. had that packed with him and it's special, yeah. yeah. I, I'll tell you what, I've never seen anything, but I will say my, my child, my daughter River, whenever she was a baby, no lights were in the room. There was nothing on. It's not like she was staring at anything. It was a pitch black room. You know, I had the white noise going, so it was, they'd you know get, go that. to sleep. Yes, and then and I had her, and she legit 
was sitting there smiling, giggling, just laughing at something. And I was like, I literally said the same thing <laughs> out loud. I was like, so I don't know if anyone's here right now, but I was like, <laughs> but if you are, just, you know, be kind to my child, like whoever you are. And, and I was like, and you're cool, you can hang out. I literally had a conversation with maybe nothing, but I was like, just on the off chance, she's like talking to someone. Well, she's she nice. Yeah, she's she nice. nice. My girl. Yeah, don't yeah. scare the crap out of her. That's yeah. all I'm asking. And she was smiling, but so it's She funny. was, though. She was so, in, like, intensely having a moment with something, and I've never felt, I've never had anything like that happen to me, but it was really weird. It's, yeah. it, there's a really cool things I write about, a couple things that I write about in the book, about yeah. more instances where it's like, okay, thanks, Ed. Can you just give me a break right now? Yeah, we all are energy, just Yes, saying. yes. Yes. And our energy needs to yes. go somewhere. It's still here. Mm -hmm. I like it. I, we could keep talking, but yes. my producer's <laughs> going to kill me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, look, I love her.